All right, so um, I've really had kind of a similar question like this asked a lot of times, and it's kind of around what's the best major for PA school or is there a best major for PA school? Um, but this one is slightly a little bit different. Um, and you guys know, or if you didn't know, I'll let you know that I majored in biomedical sciences and I minored in chemistry when I was an undergrad. And there really was no rhyme or reason behind it. <laughs> for me, I started off as a biology major and then they, my school was like, hey, there's a new major. And I only needed to take one class to change. And it just sounded so much more like I don't know prestigious or like better than plain old biology and it was biomedical sciences and so I was like oh heck yeah if I just need to take one class then I'll do that and so that's why I really chose my major uh, it was still giving me all of the prerequisites that I needed for med school at the time and so it wasn't really that that big of a change for me um, and you know I don't suggest you choosing your major based on how it sounds but for sure um, there are some factors that you would like to look into and so that's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video What's up you guys, it's Sedona, welcome back to my channel. So, uh, if you're new to my channel, I make PA related videos and non-PA re related videos. I need to do more of those, just kind of of my life as a PA. And so, if you like that or are interested in that or just, you know, interested in seeing what my life is like, go ahead and subscribe and like this video. Um, I had a question posed by Kia, hopefully I said that, Rowan or Kaya Rowan, um, and they asked, what did you major and minor in? Today, would you go back and change your major and minor based on what you've experienced, learned so far? Do you feel that major slash minor would have helped you today? And so I think this is a really good question. I like the retrospective look of it. You know, everybody, you, you looking back? Looking back at what what things would have been like. So um, so as I stated before, my major was biomedical sciences and I minored in chemistry. Um, ultimately, do I think that uh, my major helped me or would I have continued on with that major? And yeah, the answer is yes. I absolutely would have still done that major. Um, I think I got to experience a lot in my particular undergraduate degree. I got to do summer research at medical schools um, and grad schools schools and I my experiences there were like just like insurmountable the amount of knowledge and wealth of knowledge that I was kind of just privy to um, and introduced to by some of those like primary investigators that I was doing research with and so I think that that whole system that I was taught in or brought up in uh, in undergrad due to my major was amazing. Um, obviously, like looking back now, yeah, you know what? I think that being a nursing major might have helped me a little bit better in terms of knowing like the ins and outs of medications and um, learning that aspect of things for PA school because you it would be great like I've seen the nurses that have become PAs and they're really really intelligent and really smart especially the ones that have been in the ICU and you're taking care of like critically ill patients because they get to glean from their experiences and from you know the thought process of the attendings and maybe even some of the PAs that they worked with before so that would have been probably a good major for me but I knew that I didn't want to go into nursing and I didn't realize kind of like how um, much of a benefit it might have been for me to become a nurse first and then get into PA school. So mm, would I have changed to nursing? I don't necessarily think I would have, but um, you know, it is a nice thought to have that, hey, you know, I might have wanted to do that um, if I had the time or if I was just going through an undergraduate degree, maybe I should have done nursing and then gone um, to PA school and who knows. Uh, maybe I would be an even better PA um, today, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Again, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. So uh, for me, no, I would not have changed my major or my minor. Do I think that it helped me um, currently in my position? 
No, I don't. Um, I don't think that it really helped me. Yes, it built a foundation in terms of my anatomy um, and physiology because my school was really, really cool in that we had a gross anatomy lab, a cadaver lab. So we were able to, I was already experienced in like dissections and looking at what things, muscles and nerves and, you know, arteries and veins look like in the human body. And so when I was able to translate that to PA school, like I killed anatomy and physiology. Like that was one of my favorite classes. Um, and it was one of the easier classes for me, um, to excel in. And so I think it helped me in that respect. Um, but really and truly all of the things that I learned, like chemistry, I don't really use chemistry as a PA right now. Like I, I don't think that my undergraduate major and minor truly helped me. Uh, it's built a good foundation for me to land on, but everything that you really need to know about being a provider um, and just taking care of patients, you learn that in PA school and on rotations. And so that is why, again, like for PA school, there's not really like a, a major that is the best major or the major that you should choose. Um, and that's why PA programs accept people from all walks of life and all majors because ultimately they realize that that's not what makes a great provider. And so if you're able to get the prerequisite requirements that each school is asking for, and you get that direct patient care experience, which is really what's important. Like how do you interact with patients? How do you take care of patients? What is your rapport with them? Um, that's what they like to see. And they, and then all of the extracurricular stuff like kind of comes in and just supports that foundation. So as long as that is in, you know, kind of like in the mix of who you are as a person, then they can source out like through an interview, all right, you know, this person will be a good fit for our program. And I think that they'll make a good PA. Um, but the undergraduate major really does not matter that much. And so when you're choosing your major, I think you should choose things that you are interested in, things that will make you happy. I like, and as I've gotten older, my life is all about being happy, um, obviously within some constraints, but yes, like living the best life that you can possibly live because you've been put on this earth to do something great and to do something, right? You're, we, we haven't just made been made just not to do anything. And so um, as long as you can choose majors that kind of fit into that mold, um, while at the same time getting the various different prerequisite requirements for PA school, I think you'll be set. Okay, so uh, Kia, Kaya, um, <laughs> would I change my major? No. Uh, what was my major? Biomedical sciences and my minor was chemistry. And do I think that it helped me? Not really. Like it built a foundation, but ultimately um, going to PA school is what really helped me um, on my path. All right. Thank you so much for that question. If you guys have any other questions for me, you already know what to do. Leave them in the comment section below. Please join me on Tuesday. We are going to be doing another school. I will drop which school we are doing uh, tomorrow. Uh, there will be a little thumbnail that you can put a little reminder for. Hit that reminder um, because we will be doing the live at 7 p.m. on Tuesday evening. Okay. And so if you are interested um, in seeing what the prerequisite requirements for a particular school is you got to join me on Tuesday um, also follow me on Instagram at Atlanta PA and on Instagram at get that's the university thank you guys so much for watching I will talk to you guys next time bye